Barcelona signed Pedri from Las Palmas, a team in the second division of the Spanish football for 6 million euros in the September of 2019. There are many great veterans and also many players who are on the peak in terms of footballing prowess in the Segunda division and the squad of Las Palmas is in itself very competitive. But amongst these players, one had the most minutes played, most assists and most big chances created as well as the most dribbles completed. That's Pedro Gonzalez Lopez or simply saying Pedri. Alright, welcome back guys. My name is Zishan. Welcome back to Talk Football, home of reviews, tactics and transfer talks. And welcome to another episode of Under the Radar and the player in focus today is Pedri from Barcelona. But before I get into any of that guys, do like this video, subscribe and hit the bell icon. And so let's quickly start this video because in this one, we'll take a look at the soon to be 18 years old history, his playing style, strength and the lineup option at FC Barcelona. Born on 25th November 2002 in Tenerife, Spain, Pedri is already a phenomenon. He played there as a child and impressed the scouts highly. He signed for Las Palmas in 2018 and for Barcelona the next year. He scored 4 goals and 6 assists in 36 matches, averaging 79 minutes per match. Shining at the Under-17 World Cup in India, he proved himself as one of the Spanish football's biggest prospect. Pep Mel, Las Palmas coach stated that it will be impossible to replace Pedri, he will soon be a star of Spanish football. Pedri is 174cm tall attacking midfielder who can also play on the wings. He is thought of as the next Iniesta as several of his traits match that of the Barcelona legend. Don't believe me? Well watch this whole video and you will say that yourself. So Pedri has somewhat a small frame but excellent balance and is extremely adept at dribbling. Actually one of his best traits is his dribbling. He cushions the ball so perfectly with his right foot and is helped by his low center of gravity to glide past defenders with ease. He is a very attack minded player with an excellent vision and passing ability. Pedri at Barcelona has been heavily involved in the starting games of La Liga and the Champions League and he has mostly played on the wings both left and right but his best display has come from the left where he receives the ball from near the halfway line and drives forward and inside making space for Jordi Alba to run on the flanks and pull the defender out of position. Pedri's game time has been helped by an unfortunate injury to Coutinho but the kid has never disappointed. Well you can ask that from Cuadrado. Pedri is highly impressive for his age. I've been following Barcelona since 12 years now and I've never seen a 17 year old kid being trusted so much. Ronald Koeman chooses Pedri over Ricky Puch, Carlos Alinea and now even over Coutinho maybe. Pedri's brilliance is partly due to his agile and elegant style of play and partly due to his need to be better technically to avoid losing position due to his small frame. The teenager is excellent in terms of positioning when receiving the ball, plus his touches are absolutely magic. In addition to that, his shielding of the ball is also very good. To do that while maintaining position, even being pressed and deliver a perfect pass is out of the understanding of all of us. Again, a similarity close to Andres Iniesta. Pedri literally floats. He often drops back to the midfield and receives the passes from the fullbacks. And then once on a run towards interior, he's deadly. Pedri hardly loses position and is a master of feints and dummies, a shoulder drop or a fake touch and he's off. The defenders end up catching shadows. Plus, Pedri is an intelligent player, his trait is visible when you watch him play, he knows perfectly when he has to hold on to the ball and when to release it. A heel flick, pass through the outside of the foot, he does everything. His decision making is just out of this world when you look at his age, something Dembele can take a lesson from. This heat map over here shows that Pedri can occupy the wide areas as well as the half spaces effectively. He is a player who is capable of playing at various positions and can cause havoc from anywhere. He finds himself in those pockets of spaces between the defenders and the midfielders and is often the outlet for other teammates when they are looking for a pass. A simple give and a go, Pedri will understand. And that brings me to my next point, his link-up plays. 
with a naturally gifted flair, intelligence and an eye for that pass, Pedri is very good at spotting those spaces and executing an accurate, well-weighted through ball. Even under pressure, he rarely misses an opportunity to place a breathtaking pass in the final third. Pedri has been crucial figure at Barcelona, more so than Dembele, and Coutinho's absence has provided him with the much-needed minutes. One La Liga goal in seven games and one in three UCL games is a start that not even Pedri could have imagined. In the previous La Liga games, Pedri has been deployed at various positions. Still only 17, he has a lot of room for improvements and up till now, he has combined effectively with Lionel Messi and the whole squad. He has played as both the far right and the left in a 4-4-2 and also a cam in the 4-2-3-1, although he has been decent in all the positions he has played at. With the absence of Ansu Fati for 4 months, we can expect Pedri to play on the far left now more than ever. Pedri might not be known to the world right now, but with his efforts, his humbleness and his consistency, we expect him to be one of the best Spanish players ever. While his productivity in front of goal can be questioned, but his intention cannot. He has worked hard to reach where he's at and sets up a perfect example to all the kids around the globe. Keep your head down, work hard and the world will be yours. Thank you for watching guys. Do drop a like if you like this video, subscribe to this channel if you're here for the first time and I'll see you guys next time. Until then, as always, peace out.